The International Data Center Authority, or IDCA, is the data center authority specializing in standardization, education, and certification across the globe. IDCA's extensive education and training program provides nine unique certification courses for data center professionals. Many leading data center operators, owners, experts, and advocates, most of them second to none in the data center field, have gone through this program and carry IDCA certification. This video will illustrate how you can join the elite and become a knowledgeable and reputable data center professional in today's data center world. IDCA's Data Center Professional Training Program is based on a uniquely innovative and effective ladder structure. Whether individuals come from 25 years of hands-on expertise in the industry or are new to the field, the courses are structured in a way that everyone benefits. Training is open to all data center professionals of varied and diverse backgrounds, including specialists from power, cooling, civil and architecture, cabling experts, safety and security professionals, IT administrators, data center managers, consultants, engineers, auditors, technicians, decision makers such as CEOs, CMOs, CIOs, CTOs, CFOs, or simply any individual interested in improving their skill set. Training begins with the DCIS course, the foundation upon which the entire ladder is built. From here, professionals will learn, grow, and evolve leading to the DCA, the final level of the ladder and the pinnacle of data center knowledge, where trainees become the authority of the data center. My friends and I are going to show you how the IDCA training ladder works. Let's get started. We begin with the first step of the ladder, the Data Center Infrastructure Specialist course, or DCIS. DCIS is a two-day course that covers knowledge of prevailing standards, trends, core principles, data center foundations, components such as power, cooling, IT, civil, architecture, and much more. An overview of the entire data center. Professionals must complete an exam to receive certification. Once everyone has a strong grasp of the basic foundations of a data center, we move on up the ladder. Now professionals have the option to specialize their training based on their current needs. Professionals can choose either the manager path or the expert path. Let's start with managers. Data Center Operations Specialist, DCOS, is a three-day course meant to give trainees knowledge of operational disciplines, measures and methodologies, and best practices necessary to run, manage, and operate data centers. Professionals are also trained on a wide array of data center operational and maintenance regimes for components such as site and building, electrical, mechanical, computer room, structured cabling, safety, security, IT and ICT, energy efficiency, disaster recovery, data center cloud, the infinity paradigm, and more as the essential skills needed to not only operate, manage, and maintain data centers, but do it smoothly, effectively, and efficiently, all from the perspective of an operations manager. Then it's back to the exam room and out with another certification. Once trainees complete DCIS and DCOS, the combination automatically rewards them with an additional certificate. Data Center Operations Manager, DCOM. Individuals can and are highly urged to take both DCIS and DCOS together in five consecutive days. Now let's swing back over to the other side of the ladder and see what our expert trainees are up to. In the Data Center Engineering Specialist, or DCES course, trainees learn engineering best practices and how to calculate loads for power and cooling and structure, as well as fine-tuned versions of effective shortcuts many vendors and consultants use to design data centers and provide the key tools for experts to criticize and validate the works of their suppliers and vendors as related to the data center and are trained in a wide array of data center engineering systems and components such as site and building, electrical, mechanical, computer room, structured cabling, fire protection, safety and security, IT and ICT, energy efficiency, disaster recovery, data center cloud, the infinity paradigm, and more. All from the perspective of an expert planner, engineer, and architect. As always, back to testing. Let's see if our DCES group made it through. Upon completion of both DCIS and DCES, trainees receive an additional Data Center Infrastructure Expert DCIE certificate. Individuals can and are highly urged to take both DCIS and DCES together in five consecutive days. Congratulations to all. You're well on your way to the DCA. Well, look at that. Everyone's back together again. 
After the DCOM DCIE split, trainees reunite for Data Center Technology Professional DCTP training. Here they will get hands on experience, utilizing the information they've learned in the previous DCIS, DCOS, and DCES courses. Topics will cover data center technologies, the latest and greatest of next generation technologies, power, cooling, civil, IT, DCIM, structured cabling, tools and methods, and more with pros and cons of each put side by side, giving DCOM and DCIE professionals the edge to effectively select and specify the products they would need for their data centers. Having the full know-how to properly grade and select products and to tell the difference between marketing pitches versus deliverable features. Another exam and we're back on the road to the DCA. Completion of DCTP and whichever course was missed before, DCES and DCOS respectively, awards trainees with another bonus certification. Here's how it works. For professionals who hold a DCOM certification, the O from DCOM drops and they are awarded an additional data center manager DCM certification. Likewise, professionals who hold a DCIE certification, the I from DCIE drops and they gain an additional data center expert DCE certification. After completing DCTP, the group splits for the last time and takes the course they previously missed. Don't worry, you'll see each other again. This gives everyone a full and complete understanding of all things data center, including data center operations as well as engineering. Now both groups are back together. Completion of all previous courses has brought us to this point, the top of the ladder, the pinnacle of data center certification and training. The DCA or Data Center Authority. At the DCA level, trainees are assigned and work with an advisor to write a thesis based on their particular expertise. Hands-on experience in the field is required to participate. Once completed, the DCA level is attained. After becoming a DCA, the trainee is now a living data center authority. DCAs will be able to answer data center related questions with confidence and pride. They can lead groups, give speeches, and much more. In addition, being a data center authority opens up the option of future advanced paths. DCAs can become DCCIs, data center certified instructors. DCCAs, Data Center Certified Auditors, or DCCCs, Data Center Certified Consultants, and do things like teach future IDCA courses, perform IDCA certified audits, provide reliable and credible advice regarding data centers, and engage in certifiable engineering and design practices, either in their own training, audit, or consultancy practices, or serving their existing organizations better than ever. The possibilities are endless. Become certified. Lead the industry. Join the elite. Go to www.idc-a.org now to start your climb.